Uh, in some senses it is. No, uh, we haven't seen the city yet this morning. I know the Public Works and Parks Department wants to come out here, uh, but these are essentially supporters of the camp who have called to have people come out here, help people clean up their tents and then move to a different site is what they said. It's unclear where that site is going to be, but that is what's being cleared out right now. The city has urged people to leave this area, uh, Geary Field, which is typically a series of baseball parks. This is the parking lot for that park. And they've urged people to leave. They said today the cleanup is happening. Last week they did a few days of outreach here to get people into temporary shelters. They say about half the people who are currently living here in this camp came out to talk to them about these temporary options. It's unclear if any of them took took that option. We did speak to a local shelter here who told us that they have plenty of room for everyone that's currently living here between 25 and 30 people. The Lighthouse Mission Ministries executive director said his team has been outside of this encampment. They've walked through the encampment and they said people they've been struggling to get people to take up their offer, which is a bed at a low barrier shelter. And that is because when they talk to people here at the camp, they're told that people who support the camp are getting everything they need need donated. This includes food, toiletries, new tents if they need it, and even marijuana. People don't want to feel the pain of, of you know, the devastated life that they have. And so anything that takes away that pain, uh, they're going to choose before doing the hard work of restoring relationships with family and the hard work of addiction recovery and the hard work of, of building yourself up so you're marketable so you can get a job again. Now they say some of the donations that they're getting, while they could be in good intentions here at the camp, they are making it harder for people to make that decision to go into a place that offers services like base camp. So as the cleanup happens today, base camp says their doors are open. However, again, as I mentioned, these crews are here to help people clean up and move to a new site. When the city arrives, they hope that their cleanup goes peacefully. However, in the past, there has been some confrontation. They said if things escalate, they will call in police. Live in Bellingham, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News. A lot happening there today. Callie will stay on it. Thanks so much.